If you're looking for a centerpiece for your dining table, don't get flowers. Get these super spooky toilet roll monsters instead. They look awesome, and if you place them on a light, their hair begins to glow, all thanks to science. Whoa! Hey Beck, I think I'll do the rest of the video at the dining table. Wanna learn how to make them? Then let's get scienced. To make these at home, you will need some toilet rolls, colored cardboard, scissors, a glue stick, a hot glue gun, a mug or Pyrex jug, some googly eyes, and an adult to help you. Start by decorating the toilet rolls to look like your favorite monsters. I made Frankenstein, Dracula, the mummy, a bat, and a spooky pumpkin. I got these designs from a website called The Best Ideas for Kids, which I'll link in the description. Let's put these to one side and make the strands of hair. To do this, boil some water and get a Pyrex jug or mug that you will only use for science going forwards. Ask an adult to add some boiling water to the jug and place a hot glue stick into the water. This needs to stay in the water until it's just soft enough to stretch. Not too long that the glue stick becomes super soft and melts as soon as you lift it out the water, and not too short that it isn't able to stretch at all. I found 40 to 45 seconds was about the right time. Get an adult to carefully remove the glue stick from the jug with a pair of pliers. Then grab the other end with a second pair of pliers and slowly stretch the glue stick until it's about 30 centimeters long. Leave this to cool for one minute and then place it on a piece of baking paper. Repeat this for another six glue sticks, changing the boiling water after every second glue stick to keep it hot. Cut off the ends of each glue stick and cut each of them in half. To attach these strands of glue to a toilet roll monster, cut out a circle from a thick piece of black cardboard. This circle needs to be a little bit larger than the end of the toilet roll. Use a sharp pencil to poke some holes through this cardboard circle, or maybe use a drill. The holes need to be about the same diameter as the strands of glue. Carefully push each strand through a hole. Try to put them in at different angles and have about one and a half centimeters poking through the other side. Lastly, use a hot glue gun to add some glue in the gaps between the strands. This will melt the strands together and hold everything in place. Then add a layer of glue around the inside edge of the cardboard circle and attach it to the toilet roll monster. Once you've finished one, repeat all of those steps to make the rest of the toilet paper monsters. And this is what they look like. How cool do they look? We can even add some colored cellophane to make the hair different colors. Whoa! One of the best spots to place them is on night lights. Now no one needs to be scared of the dark. <laughs> so how do they work? Hot glue sticks are a thermoplastic. This means they soften when heated up and harden when cooled down. Let's have a closer look at those two states. If I put a blob of hot glue on top of this science stamp, we can see the stamp quite clearly. That's because the hot glue is transparent. As the glue cools down, the stamp becomes blurry and hard to see. And that's because the cold glue is translucent. We often use the words transparent and translucent to mean the same thing but they have different meanings. Transparent objects don't scatter the light passing through them and allow us to see clear images. Translucent objects do scatter the light passing through them, allowing us to only see blurred images. Light passes through the translucent hair of our toilet roll monsters and gets scattered in all directions, giving us this awesome glowing effect. So that's the difference between transparent and translucent, and that's how you make these toilet roll monsters. I'll see you next time on Silly Science with Simon.